I mean, sorry for the interruption due to some network issues. So, so this call was disconnected. The next step. Uh, see, we have removed all these things, right? Okay, then next step. What we need to do. Okay, see, you have to have clear observation. This is the MT940 format files. Okay, under this 940 format files, you have different types of things. What are those different types of things? Okay, so what are those uh, things? See, you can just, these are the keys and keys are referring some of the statements. Okay, now you can just observe yourself with these keys. The next one is, see, 20 is a statement date, right? So you have to have a date format like this based on your systems, based on your format types and all. And if it is a BI, if it is a BI2, if it is a uh, another thing, MT940 formats and anything, any foreign uh, format, bank formats and all, you will have format dates. Okay, you have date formats and all. The next one is bank is same and statement number is same. But when it comes to the opening balances, okay, how... Uh, I mean, how much opening balances that you have in your bank account is very, very important. Okay, you got the point. The next one is, uh, so 61. Okay, 61 is same thing, outgoing payments. And then next one is, sorry, incoming payments. And the next 61 is for the outgoing payments. And the next one, 61 is for the bank charges. And then next 62 is for the closing balances and all. Okay, can you go to the, uh, save this file? EBS uh, test file, KIND. Okay, you got the point. Okay, so you have saved this file. I think so. All these things will be wiped up. Mm. Uh, first, to open the GL balances and also open the uh, what is the thing? Customer balances, FBL 3N and FBL 5N. Okay, then no issue. Ah, then next, uh, give the FBL 5N. EFBL 5N and give the customer balances. And I think we have already posted the uh, document, right? That is uh, post outgoing payments that is for the vendors. And uh, and that should be, I mean, uh, that is being transferred to the, uh, what is that account? 200104, okay, no issue. Then take out the another session. Take out the another session and we have prepared the file. Okay, EBS test file. Now, now go to the document, one configuration document and all. Okay, uploading the bank statement is, no, 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 another thing, another thing. EBS part three. Hmm. Here, under this. Oh. Uh, remove these things, all these things. Okay, then next step. So uploading the bank statement using transaction code FF underscore five. Uploading the bank statements. Uploading the bank statements using transaction code FF underscore five. Okay, using transaction code FF underscore five. Ah, uh, come back. Come back to the SAP system. Now, in this screen, we will going to uh, see the uh, I mean uploading of the electronic bank statement. Okay, FF underscore five. It's good. Then next, see, you have to import the data. Okay, once you upload the data, electronic bank statement data, so you have to have print statement, right? So in that scenario, we will import the data. Okay, uh, electronic bank statement format is, open that thing. Okay, Swift MT940 field 86 structure recognized automatically. So I am taking like this. Okay, then next, what is the statement file? You can just take out the statement file as EBS test file. Okay, go to the open and you need to have work workstation upload then post immediately and va assign value data. 
if you don't give the assigned value date and you have to check with your uh, um, field status groups and as well as the posting uh, rules with the help of maintain field status. The next one is so we are just giving the document numbers, right? And all these things are referring to the reference numbers and also document numbers. So BLNR and XBLNR. OK, give one to double nine double nine and one to double nine double nine. Then next XBLNR is C. Double line and double line. Double line, double line. Now come down. So you have to print the bank statement and if you have any errors, OK, if you get any errors and uh, I mean, uh, whatever the uh, configurations that you have done for the electronic bank statements, and if you have missed one configuration and all, automatically bank statement printing will not be possible. Okay, so that is why I'm just taking this one. I mean, that is print posting log. Okay, print posting log also. See, if we have any errors after the uploading and all, it will going to show you. Okay. It will going to show you the errors automatically. We will going to clear the errors. So I mean if the errors will not come, no issue. No worries. OK, no, no worries. Can you go to the save button? And we have to uh, save the variant without saving the variant. You cannot even post the things. OK, and I mean you cannot even uh, generate the electronic bank statement and also print statement clearly. And what is the variant name? You can just give uh, uh, Balaji Balaji. Give the capital letters. Variant name is a capital letter. Balaji. Hmm. The description is Balaji EBS statement. Balaji EBS statement. See, if it is a real time, they will just uh, give the their bank account the statements and all. Okay. So for your reference only, I'm just giving the name. Okay. Go to the save button and save it. And go to the save button and save. See this variant Balaji is saved. Now what we need to do is, okay, can you go to the execute button? We are executing the document. I mean, we are uploading the bank statement. Okay, can you go to the execute, execute button? Uh, can you go to the yellow option? Mm. See here, account one two three four five. That is our bank key, right? And what is the bank account number? 8173077937. And INR statement 2022013. Uh, okay, is not in the bank data storage. There is no any issue. This is just a information, right? Okay, when it comes to the databases and all, we will going to see it. Okay, can you just click on the enter once again? <clears throat> See now you have seen the thing right document 308 was posted in company code KIND and we don't have any errors. OK, we don't have any errors. Now we need to up, uh, see the update accounting statement. That is the check de uh, deposit transaction. OK, can you drag it to the right side Pawan? We will going to see the errors. OK, we don't have any errors. If you get any errors automatically it will going to show you in this uh, line. OK, BLNR line. OK, automatically. So if you have any doubts, I mean, if you have if you get any errors and all while executing the uploading of the bank statements and all, OK, you can just ping a message to my WhatsApp number. We will going to give the solution. OK, you can just come back one step back. You will going to see the bank statement the print the bank statement. OK, now you can just see bank statement version. So opening balance is saying 11 lakh rupee. And incoming payment is a two lakh fifty thousand rupee. And see, bank charges has been posted. Okay, we haven't posted any ba bank charges till now. Now, based on the keys and all, okay, automatically with the help of MT nine format uh, nine forty format, uh, bank charges has been updated in this thing. In that is NCH two, that is external transaction type ETC. Okay. And then next now you can just observe uh, two lakh fifty thousand is the incoming payment. OK, that is thirteen lakh fifteen thousand once again and uh, two lakh is a outgoing payment that is minus. OK, and it will be the uh, eleven lakh fifty thousand rupees and fifty thousand is the outgoing payment that is fifty thousand rupees. Now we will going to see whether all these entries have been cleared by the bank statement or not. OK, we have opening entries, right? OK, open those things. Pawan. Uh, GL account. See, we have two lakh rupee, and it is in a red color status mode. What you need to do? Okay, can you go to the list? 
can you go to the list and go to the refresh now there is no any item that we have right now okay you got the point there is no any items now we have to observe the things okay what are those observe the observing things that is customer line item display whether it has been cleared or not can you go to the customer line item display can you go to the customer line item display uh, go to the list go to the refresh once again <clears throat> now you can just observe right so no item selected see the long text I've got the point now all these things are cleared okay so you have got the incoming payment in your main bank account and the outgoing payment has been uh, <clears throat> i mean sent to the one vendor account and that one also is cleared in the line item display of the gls and all you got the point now the i mean another document is also generated that is this so have we done any manual things and all there is a automatic thing right so this is about the complete understanding of the electronic bank statement you got the point now so uh, you will have i mean you will going to get one doubt this is the exact statement can you just take out this statement uh, take out the screenshot or else i will going to take the screenshot here please yeah okay right i have taken the screenshot and i will shot in this okay right okay so this is how we can do the configurations of the electronic bank statements and all uh the next one is can you go to the fbl 3n can you go to the transaction code fbl 3n mm. go to the transaction code fbl 3n okay uh, can you remove this thing uh, pavan give a uh, 200105 i think so, incoming payments right and we have to clear the incoming payments right see there is no any open items can you go to the cleared items you will going to see the things 200102105 okay oh okay no issue see here uh, incoming payments are coming to your main bank account balances only 200103 give 200103 uh give 200103 click on the enter go to the continue option uh open items okay now you can able to see the all these things right 2 lakh rupee okay 2 lakh rupee is the um i mean 2 lakh 50000 rupees is the incoming payment right okay you can just able to see those things 306 document i mean uh, 306 and 202 document posted document numbers and all okay that will be the 11 lakh uh, rupees and all okay see how we can clear all these things with the help of electronic bank statement is very very important okay see incoming payments are coming into the picture automatically it will going to uh, give you the incoming payments okay in the transaction code uh, fbl 3n line item display of the gls and all okay and you have seen the automatic way but when it comes to the manual way and all without having electronic bank statement and all you will just go to the transaction code f-28 and all and you will going to clear it right so this is how we can uh, upload these bank statements and all with the help of interpretation algorithms and also with the help of mt940 format keys and all after these things okay can you take out the notepad pawan can you take out the notepad can you take out the notepad and after this thing uh, what is the procedure that we have the first step is the first step is uh, okay after this uh, thing and all uploading statement and all you need to understand about the on accounting postings we have uh, three more classes on accounting postings i mean this is a just a theory part classes and on and then next one is how we can create algorithms how we can create algorithms and how we uh, the next step is how we can uh, do the testing before the post processing 
before the post processing and we can call it as a feban in real time you have to do like this okay that is feban how we can okay, how we before post processing how we can post how we can oh okay that is not the correct line item uh, you can write like this post processing of the post processing of the accountings post processing of the accountings so uh, we can call it as a feban okay post processing of the accounts that is feban okay then next one is we have to check the checking uploaded statements i think already you have checked the uploading statements right we have to check the uploading statements this is the third part wise and also we have some uh, important points that we have and i will going to discuss those things also uh, then next uh, yeah go to the skype and open the chat box uh, and you will going to see this bank statement okay we will able to print all these statements okay so total debit balances is for this bank statement uh, 250000 rupees total credit balance is 250000 rupees okay with the help of bank charges and all and closing balances will be the 11 lakh rupee okay this is how we can generate each and everything in the particular systems okay see if you don't get the uh, print statement data and all that is the abap error and all you have to solve these errors with the abap only okay if you don't get these things and if you get the any errors and all you can just try to resolve on your own way okay no need to take any help from any other person okay just see the errors and analyze the things and where we have done the configurations and all and uh, whatever the mistakes that you have done please correct it and if you don't find the solution and just send a message to my whatsapp number with the help of screenshot okay i will going to help you okay, this is about how we can post the uh, i mean uh, these uh, electronic bank statements uh, statements and all how we can upload how we can view how we can see all these things see whatever the statements that we are uh that we are posted okay you can just see statement number id currency statement date account id e, uh, okay bank account number okay see all these things are generated right all right so this is about the complete configurations of the electronic uh, bank statement